Today I'm going to talk about a grammar topic for different ways you can use the word doing. Not just is ing form. Are you curious to know? Stay tuned just because this video is going to show you how. Hi, Mr. Matthias talking to you. Welcome to this channel and to one more educational video. Well, I made this video to answer my friend's question from Facebook. Matthias, what's the meaning of doing? During this video, I'll be not just giving the meaning, but I'll break down the four different ways you can use this word. Stay tuned. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and to share this video with your friends. According to the Oxford Advanced American Dictionary, the word doing is countable or uncountable plural noun and we can use it to refer to first. To talk about activities in which a particular person engages or to talk about something that someone has done. See the following example. The latest doings of television stars. She said that the situation didn't happen because of her doings. Second, to talk about something that is hard to do or takes lots of effort. As the following example. Being a great musician takes lots of effort and time. Instead, you can say being a great musician takes some doings. And you can use this word to refer to things forgotten their name. Let's imagine you're in the debate. You're talking about something you've done in the bright early in the morning. Uh, let's imagine you were working on a computer and all the things that you were working, you set, you set them in a folder called music. Suddenly you forgot the things you were doing. If someone asks you, you can say the folder where I kept my doings. And last, you can use this word as ing form of the verb to do, working as a main verb, like in this example. How are you doing? Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and leave a comment below about the problems you've been facing in Krama and share this video with your friends. Stay tuned for future videos like this. See you.